So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to the last video in this mini series about MongoDB aggregation framework in which we're going to cover off some of the best practices real quick which, which you should keep in mind all the time while using aggregation framework. Now it is powerful tool but with power comes a bit of responsibility so you have to be responsible. With the pipeline operators remember one thing there's a 100 MB RAM limit on a single operator. So if you fetch, for example, if you fetch a lot of documents together using match, for example, uh, not really match, but uh, I don't know, some other operator, if you fetch a lot of document, well, match would fall in under as well. Or maybe if you want to sort the collection documents first, so sort needs to keep every other document in the memory because it has to see all the documents at once um, and it exceeds 100 MB, then MongoDB would be complaining at least as of today in 2020 uh what it is april 2020 right with mongo version 4 point something whatever it might increase in future but uh, i'm not very positive on this because it has stayed um like this in a limited constraint for a long time but for most cases you do not really need this so yeah use it wisely use the pipeline operators in less amount in a less fashion because obviously it is an expensive operation. It is um, more work to do for MongoDB uh, rather than just, you know, making some simple calls. And uh, for your pipeline operator, uh, you can also pass in the option called allow disk use, which would allow your pipeline operator to write the stuff on the disk itself um, if the memory is uh, exceeding 100 MB, right? or if the memory is short, whatever it is, is the reason. But allow disk use does not really work with a bunch of operators like the add to set and push operator. So you have to be careful there. Secondly, reduce documents to process by using match operator as early as possible in your pipeline of the aggregation framework because match would ridiculously reduce the number of documents which are passed on to the next pipeline operator. So use that. After you have done that, reduce the fields per document by using the project as early as possible after match. So once you use match, you cut off a lot of documents. And once you use project, you cut off a lot of fields from that, those documents. So you get more RAM space and more space, memory space for your uh, operators to breathe, right? And then finally, avoid losing indexes on your um, collection, on your documents, if you have any. Um, just remember that index is lost whenever in aggregation pipeline a new document is created and a new document is usually created after you use the project operator, the group operator or the unwind operator. When you use these operators, operators like these, a new document is created which does not have the indexes of the original collection, right? So if you want to um, maybe use these operators, just do the heavy lifting stuff like sorting and stuff before using this and uh, yeah use these later on so yeah that's pretty much it for this video and this little mini series hope you liked it that's all for this one and if you like the series don't forget to like and subscribe the video share it with friends and i'll see you then in some other video series real soon